Hey Simmers, welcome back to another video. Before we get into today's video, please make sure to subscribe and like. So, today we are not going to be doing another part of the only CC house, unfortunately. I will do that probably tomorrow again. But today we're going to be looking at some more custom content. So, the custom content we're going to be looking at today are a bit it's older custom content. This has come out a while ago. It is the HMB store st um, stuff back by Lil Dicker. So I will be um, putting the download link in the description down below if you do want to download this. But let's get into it. The it because it's such a big pack. So first of all, I want to look at all the items and then we're going to go look at the store that Lil Dicker builds for this pack. So first of all, I don't think there is any new wallpaper. Let's maybe just go and search everything about custom content. Yeah, there's no wallpaper or floorings or doors or windows that came with this pack, right? No. None of those things came. I, I know why, because it's not really for, it's not really a pack made for this, so... Yeah. Let's maybe just go to all of the objects. This is all of the objects. Actually, these ones don't come with it. Although they are also H and B items that you can download separately, um, but I will only put the link to the actual H and B store stuff back in the description. Like this is not for the H and B. This is for a different one. Well, that might be for the H and B, but for with the laundry items or stuff, because you, you, there are some laundry day items, and also there are also some. What are what you call city living items? Also, I don't know you get this one or these. I've never seen this in my life because I've played with this pack before. But some of these things I've never seen. I remember when I could first download this, I was so excited. But let's get into it because there's a lot to look up. First of all, let's get some lights down and specifically these lights. So they have these kinds of light that go with the like height of your room. So if your room is very high. The lights are going to be very high. They're not the best to light up a space, but you also have a white and black version instead of only a black version. I will get some better lights in here though. Then there's, this, there's also this diffused light, which makes a bit more light, but still not really the best light. So let's just quickly get it. My all time favorite light, these ones, just to let up this big, massive room full of items that we're going to be looking at. Yeah, this is really a big, 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 big room. There we go. Okay. Now let's just um, search back custom content. So, first of all, we have these built-in appliance cabinets, store storage. As you can see, and they have this cool, like, back, back side when you put them against the wall. It's really cool. You do get a ton of swatches again. Really a lot. And they do also have, all, oh no, they don't have all the pieces. They only have the one piece. So you can't get corner pieces or anything. So, but these are for appliances. Yeah. Then you have the island solution, which have a few more pieces at least. So there you have a few more pieces that you could use, as you can see. I'm just going to go with standard ones for those. Okay, so then you have the just a normal cabinet, which also have as the little lip. But this one has more, um, what do you call it, more pieces that you can use. Which I do have, so I really like these pieces. It's really cool. And then again, a ton of swatches for you to use. Oh, okay, that one disappeared for a moment. Then there's also this simple countertop. Again, I don't think this actually came with the HMB pack, but it does fit in with the HMB stuff. So I'm also going to be reviewing these. Like if you download, I'll show you um, after how to download this. So that you can see how to get these other items as well. Then the upper cabinet, you know, you have your standard pieces. You have this piece as a corner piece. You have, okay, wait, you have this piece as a corner, actually as a corner piece. This is an end piece. This is like a corner piece. Then you have the straight piece, just a normal piece. And you have a cabinet piece, a really cool cabinet piece. And you have a little upper piece, corner piece, which I really like that corner piece. And then another end piece. I love these as I like open. They look really cool. Then you have the HMB Pro Tab A, which comes in a few swatches, as you can see, quite a lot. It's a quite cool, it's a quite big tablet, and it does slot into these little holders if you wanted to put them there, also on top, so that's quite cool. Then we have a smart thermostat. So you need um, 
seasons for this one you know it replace it it kind of replaces the older one you still have the older one in your game the seasons one but you also have this cool smart looking one then we come into a few washing machines so we have this washing machine in two swatches then we have this washing machine right yeah and then you have also a matching dryer and they do slot on top of each other as you can see which also have a ton of different swatches in them as you can see if you want to use them like that then you also have this the add wash washing machine you have the add wash heat pump dryer duet tumble okay then you have the dual dry then you have what is this one the dual wash washing machine i don't know what these are but they are quite smart quite smart looking these can't stack unfortunately but these can oh i like the swatches it's like this dark color i love that then we have a bit of signage so and there are different swatches on this which show different products like this i think Oh no, this shows an air conditioner. <laughs> then you also have these entrance alarms, you know, like you have at stores. If you steal something, it goes off. And I, I think that's such a cool detail to put in the tap. Got two swatches. <coughs> oh, I accidentally sne sneezed. Then we also have these dividers. Which you can place in between cabinets and things. You can also place these between objects like this if you wanted to divide the objects into different sections and things you know these do have a few um sayings on them like a few words also in no word option i don't have pictures then we also have a pro toast this does not function unfortunately but it is a cool looking toaster with cool swatches on it then you also have a blender again not functional but it does look quite cool like i love this red swatch then we have store seating size. So this again will go with the seating height of your um, store. And you can like show, like, okay, phones are there and sale items are there. You know, so that's quite a cool thing. Then we have these light fixture, stage light fixture pieces, which are really, really cool. I really, really love them. You can, it's like these cool... What do you call these things? Yeah, like a truss. It's like a truss. You can put it on the roof and there's two swatches. This is an end piece for it. As you can see, it's an end piece. Plus, then we have this piece, which uh, goes into four directions. Then we have this curved piece. And we also have them lower. They all also come in lower ones. So, yeah. I'm not going to show all of the lower ones because, yeah. It's going to take a bit of time. And we do have this electronic sign, which again displays a few things. It displays exactly what that sign displays. Then also there's a... Oh, this one is just for like a second wall height. Uh, okay, so you have different wall height versions. Yeah. Then you also have one for the first wall height, obviously. So that'll be like how high your walls are. Then you have this gigantic sign, which you definitely want to have on tall height which literally shows the microwave the fridge uh, washer dryers stove fridges uh, a few things phones phones where's the micro wait where i keep i oh wait 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 where is that swatch oh it's the default swatch i was like where's that microwave then we also have these Pro Tab A stands. So these are like stands, no swatches. And um, we also have a Pro Tab stand. So if you take this Pro Tab A, you can now make it stand like this, which I think is so, so cool. Then we also have this countertop sign. So it's a really tiny little sign to show you what items you can find here, what products are there. Then you have a Pro Tab Y box. That's one thing I also love about this pack is you get boxes. Then you also have the Pro Tab A box. Like can these, yeah, these can um, stack. So you can have like a cool store inventory. These also stack. So that's quite cool. Then there's the medium large items box and the medium items box. As you can see that you can have a few different swatches on it or no swatches. Again, the same with this thing, but they do as well stack, so you can have like stacked boxes in your inventory room, which I think is so, so cool. The little ones can stack on top of the big ones as well. That is so cool. I love that. Then you also have a Pro Tab box. 
as you can see, and they also stack, which again, I love about this. Then we have some more store signs. These are like wall signs. So let's just go to a wall, place these down. Here's another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. Yeah, so I'm just going to do the wall signs for now. As you can see, there is a ton of swatches showing a ton of different things. Toasters, fridges, fridges again, microwaves, computer, and microwave, as you can see, which is really cool. And they show, like, details about it. It's Wi-Fi controlled, stuff like that. You know, that's so cool. Then you also have this floor screen sign with a few swatches. This is mainly for electronics. As you can see, you have this cool console. You know, the Pocket V display set. Pocket V display set, which look really cool. It's like a different, it's like a flip phone, actually. Both of the, these are like flip phones, like the Z Flip, the Z Fold. Yeah. That, that's really cool phones in there, different swatches. Then you also have the front logo backlit. It only comes in this swatch, one swatch, no more. Then you have all of these letters, which come in three swatches. But you have the entire alphabet. I'm not going to display the put down the entire alphabet, but there you have the entire alphabet. I actually want to spell some C if I can get it. Uh, where's S? Okay, here's C. So that's C. Where's S? Oh, here's S. And now I need I. Now I need M. How would M look? That's N. Z, F, R, W. How would M look? Oh, here's M. Sim. Let me just move that up. Now I need an E. How would the E look? Uh, here's the E. And now I just need an R. And then, basically, I spelled some C. <laughs> That would be so cool. Uh, R, 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 R. Oh, here's R. Simo, C. There we go. It's my channel's name in Simlish. Awesome. Then we also have the store aisle sign, which is actually like a really small sign. A bathroom. There's even a bathroom sign, stair sign. I don't know about all these swatches. These are so cool signs. It's such a cute little small one. Then we have the store front logo, as you can see with, uh, again, three swatches, the same as those. And there are also a few boxes. There's a small items box, which again, stacks. And there are, again, a few swatches on it. You can see here from the side, a few things that could be in these boxes or nothing. So you can also use these boxes, like if you want to pretend your sim is moving. Like that would be cool. This is the Pro Tab Y. This can slot on there. Although I think that was only for the pro tab. Yeah, but it can slot onto there. Then there's all of the lights, which I did already show off. Then we have a smart TV. This TV looks very, very cool. It's a very cool design. Very cool look. It's quite big as well. I love this TV. Then you have the crystal curve, which is the smaller version. So, so again, a really nice TV. I love the red swatch in this pack. I think this TV looks amazing. You want like a cool gaming home. Then you have the Crystal Curve XL. So this will be like in the larger box. And then that will be like in the smaller box. This is the bigger version of that TV. Literally same swatches. Then we also have a wall TV. This one doesn't have any swatches. But it is unbreakable. That's quite cool. These are not unbreakable unfortunately. But this one is unbreakable. Then we have. Okay that I'll need to wait. Wait where did it Where's the gaming console? Um, I kind of... Oh, wait, just up. I said I'm going to work with the gaming consoles. Then here's the Pro Tab. The one that this stand is actually made for. As you can see, again, it has a ton of different swatches in it. Yeah. How you want it to look. Then there's a mini book. Which you can have. Let me just get um, place these like over there. But I can get a bit more space. But then you have the mini book with again a few swatches, which is really cool. I love this watch. It's a really nice watch for it. Then there's the workstation. This is a wacky computer, but I love the look of it. This looks so cool. I want one of these. That's such a cool weird one. 
Then we have, okay, I'm gonna wait for that one, but it is the Portal 4.0, as you can see, it doesn't have any swatches. I'll show you what you can do with that. And we have the mini um, chef built-in fridge. You can you can put it in one of these if you want, but it actually can also start in the cabinet. You do need this cover university for this one. I'm gonna put it there. Then with the big fridge. So we have the H B H and B portal 4.0 and 4.0 plus fridges. That's what this thing is for. So you can slot it basically on the fridge and it's like a smart interface. You know, like that smart speaker. It works exactly like that. So that's quite cool. Look at these awesome swatches. I love my red theme. Then we also have the H and B portal 3.0 fridge. Same swatches, really cool looking. It also has the screen. Then you have the portal 2.0 and 2.0 plus fridges as well with a few different swatches. I do like this queen, it's an interesting swatch. Then you have the HMB portal 3.0 plus um, fridge, the bigger version as well. Then you also have the HMB master top. I'm running out of space here. Oh my goodness, let's maybe just get a few more cabinets. Yeah, let's just get a few more cabinets. <laughs> Yeah, so we have the master top over here, as you can see, a really nice top, no other swatches. Then you have the mini wave built-in, so this is a built-in fridge. Can't go there because that one is over there. So yeah, this is how it looks. It looks really cool, I love the swatches on it, it looks really, really nice. I remember I used to use this one all the time when I played with CC. Then we have the Power Wave 2.0 oven, really cool looking. It's Quite cool, nice swatches. Then we all have also have the Power Wave 2.0 um, for regular counters, and then also one for island counters. This one goes a little bit back to fit it with your islands, which is really nice. Do love this stove, it's a really cool looking one. Then we have the Power Wave stove. This one is, in fact, 25,000 simoleons, but it is unbreakable, food quality 10. So honestly, it might be worth it to spend that kind of money if you have it spend it then we have this halo cook which is also 25 grand uh which is a digital what you call that hologram oven there's also one with like nothing that just looks a bit sad but then you have this cool looking ones i've never used this and i don't think i will i'm just not someone that uses these kinds of wacky things so yeah but let me just get some more counters again and then i think that'll help then let's just go into the warmer custom content again. Okay, so we have this mark macro macro wave. Oh, which one is it? It's the 2.0. Which it has okay, not that. I don't know what that's what it which has a few swatches. Really nice microwave though. I really love this microwave. And we also have the macro microwave microwave oven. As you can see it comes with a lot more. This one matches the this fridge and this fridge. That's what it matches. Then we also have a HMB Pro Bar coffee maker. This one's really nice. Again, it matches with this one. I really love this coffee maker. It's such a cool looking one. Then we have the Tea Brew, the Pro Brew Tea Brew. So yeah, with these swatches, there's like little tea bits up there. But then you can also choose ones with no tea. So yeah, if you were like to put it in a stall, you probably wouldn't have the tea in it. But if you use it for your home, you could put the tea in it. Then we have this Aqua Vortex dishwasher. This fits with these ones. It also has the HMB sign on them. A lot of the items have that HMB sign. So that's quite cool. So yeah, this is the Vortex. And then there's also the HMB Linear Wash. Which you can see, which looks really cool actually. <laughs> really like that. So that's basically. Oh, wait, no, I forgot about the consoles. So here we finally have it. We have the HMB Cube. So this you need City Living for. This almost looks like the new Xbox. Yeah, it's a really cool looking one though. I really love this one more than the actual ones that came with City Living. I don't really like those ones. I like the function, I just don't like the way they look. And we also have this one, which is the Cube X. And this is the Cube. So yeah, this one looks really, really cool. I'm gonna take it in the green shape then there's also this cube x protective glass so like you can add a protective glass onto it like for that and you can change the color of that separately if you want it to be like see-through or not you could think like that so that's really cool 
So this is all the items that come with the pack. Now, let's go and check out the build that Little Dicker already made. And this is a big one. You'll have to see this. It goes on a 40 by 50 lot, as you can see. It is actually functional as a retail store. So if you do want this and do place it in your game, you can already just go and your sims can go buy with it. I do wonder is if the items are already set for sale otherwise it's going to be a tedious job to do that i would not want to have to set all of those items for sale but here here we are so let's start here in the bottom now actually it's not in the middle so when you come on in into the store there are these thingies what do you call them again entrance alarms i don't know if they actually function it would be really cool if they do then over here we have all of your washing machines Firstly, you have tons of signs and then the block time, yeah, again, tons of signs. Even have this cool, like, bar area with the Discovery University, uh, what do you call that, buffet table. So some of the um, wallpapers may not be here because I might not have the packs um, that it uses, because I think this one does use quite a lot of packs. Then you have more washing machines and ovens and stoves. Then you have fridges, a ton of fridges which you can buy. Uh, you can take these off. I wonder if you have to buy those separately. I think you do. Then there are more fridges. Actually the same ones, just different colors. Then there are more washing machines and the hologram stoves, which is a quite nice but weird stove. Then there's another door over here. And here there are cell phones. A ton of cell phones. And then over here is the checkout space. Then over here, I think this is like a customer service or is it like a game testing area? I don't know. <laughs> and then here are a few tablets and a few laptops. There are more of these game testing ones. Then over here, there are the coffee machines, ovens. Over here, there are rain shoots on these tables, as you can see. Quite cool. Then there are, okay, so they use a lot of those. Then there are also these um, ones. Uh, the dishwashers, the vortex ones, and the microwaves, and more microwaves, and more dishwashers. Then there are more ovens, more coffee makers, the blender and the toaster then over there. Then we have some TV displays over here, big TVs. And some more TVs, I love how they put them like they go in this like squiggly line. And some more, and some more TVs, and then they have thermostats. Oh wait, they I thought they slotted to the table, they don't, they just did a lot of... Where could you put it like that? Before we go to the next level, if you go back here, it's like the storage room. There's also one of those, what do you call these things, smart thermostats. Then over here, there are tons of boxes and boxes and boxes of inventory, which I love the detail of this. Now, if you go up, uh, let's maybe first go down. Yeah, so if you go down, you come down over here, this is the electronic space. So over here, you have computers and computers and tablets also you can see the these items being used in the roof which is pretty cool and over here you have a few more tvs and a few of the gaming consoles it has literally like a cube um literal sign which i think is really cool i love this store then you also have another sign and then you have some more tablets and phones and you have more fridges then you have some more game um laptops and tablets more tablets more tablets even more wow then you have like a, another checkout area with a few boxes over there. More gaming, uh, more, more computers and more TVs and consoles. Also a little chair there if you don't want to check it out. So then, and then down here you also have the bathroom, as you can see. Quite a nice bathroom. Then, we, oh wait, I missed this. There are also a lot of TVs here on the wall. Then, finally, we go up. Uh, there's no way to access the second floor from the interior because it's not actually part of the store. So if you go out there, you can come up these stairs which take you up to the second floor. There's basically nothing up here except a few, I think, oh, I'm going to say electricity items. I'm guessing the vents and things like that. That's all that's there. And then you can, there's also a door to the roof if you don't want to come up. So this is the entire H&B store which I think looks really, really cool. Probably, I'll probably use this in my game. I'll just fill in the wallpapers that um, are missing and then I'll probably use this in my game so you can go get this from the gallery you can just go and get this from the gallery you can just search HMB store and just search for the one that Little Dicker posted there are also other ones that other people made for this 
Oh wait, what's this? Oh wait, they used pedestals for this. This is before we had platforms. That is clever. That's really, really clever. Okay, that's really, really clever. But guys, I will leave a link to the HMB store pack in the description below if you do want to download it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit of a longer one, but there was a lot to cover. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.